Angelina, how old are you? I'm 32. Angelina, how long have you been out here lost in Phoenix? Um, I've been out here for, I think, like, uh, 10 years or something. Okay. Yeah. Are you originally from Phoenix? Um, no. Okay. Where are you from? Um, Tucson. I came from Tucson. Okay. And, uh, I saw you walking with a limp earlier. Yeah. Uh, what happened to, to your leg? Um, I got hit by a car in Tucson. Yeah. How long ago was that? Um... few years ago? Yeah. And you think you'll stay uh, with that limp permanently? Um, it's, I mean, I know if I go try to do like physical therapy and stuff, I'm sure like they can get, uh, help me out, but yeah, I just gotta go to the doctor. Okay. Physical therapist. So when you ended up on the streets, like what was that due to back then, back when you initially went to the streets. What was what? Like what caused you to go to the streets back then? Um, we just, um, like lost the place that we were living in and we didn't have anywhere to go, so that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are you using blues? Yeah, I do. And how did you get started with blues? Um, I couldn't find any this day and I was really sick so someone let me smoke a blue and it helped me feel a little bit better and then I was just like man I'm just gonna start buying blues and yeah. So you just switched? Kinda. Okay. Do you still use H? Um like if yeah I do if I can if I can get it. But yeah. So H is coming back you're saying? Yeah. Wow. Uh, is it normal so you have like a lot of scabs on your body, your legs, your hands? Where, where, where do those scabs come from? This, these just came from me getting high on meth and picking. You know, like really, really high and I just couldn't stop picking for like 48 hours straight and it's, yeah. <laughs> it's bad, it's I know. <laughs> picking, you just start picking at your skin? Yeah, that's what, like my tweak. It's like, so when you're tweaking, it causes anxiety, and that helps. It relieves mm -hmm. anxiety, basically, when you start yeah, picking. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, so you use G as well. You, mm -hmm. you pretty much use everything, huh? Kind what, of, yeah. Whatever you can get your hands on, or what? Mostly those two, yeah. Okay. Do you have children? Yeah. How many? Two. Where are your babies at? Um, they're with, one's with, um, his, his, uh, auntie, his dad's, um, sister, and then the other one I got, did into an agency from out here or something, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Y your left eye is very red. What's happening with your eye? Um, it, I guess it's an infection. It started, like, uh, like, really irritated, and, like, it was blurry, and then, I went to doctors and they said it was um, eye corn corn color something like that I don't know and um, yeah it was just really irritating and then I went to jail and they had the proper eye drops and stuff to take care of it so I I, pre I lost vision out of it so I'm like I can only see out of one eye so you're blind off of your left eye right mm -hmm. now is your vision gonna come back did they say all black um. I don't know, that's what I was wondering, but the doctor said I was supposed to take those drops every, like, couple hours, so it would prevent me from going blind, you know? But you and didn't take them? I didn't, because I was in jail, and, yeah. Seems like your health has declined being out here, right? You got ran over by a car, your limp, your left leg is, is, is injured, limping, your eye is, your left eye is blind. Yeah. Uh, you got scabs all throughout your body. You're 32? Mm-hmm. How much longer do you think your body can 
uh, withstand everything you're putting it through? Um, I don't know. That's a that's a tough question, I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, a while, but I I will. I'm not sure. I don't have to. Um, Do you talk to your family, your mom, your siblings like, in Tucson? Um, no. I haven't talked to anyone in a while. So it's basically just you out here in the world, huh? Just. Yeah. Uh, have you tried like any treatment centers? Uh uh. No? No, I haven't. You're not ready for that yet? Not really. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm not really ready, I guess. But maybe one day I will be, you know? Do you think you've hit rock bottom yet or not yet? I mean, I, yeah, but I've, I've hit rock bottom a few times. And, um, I'm not saying I'm always going to make it back, you know, but I've gotten lucky and, like, made it back. But, yeah. How many times have you OD'd? Overdose? I, I don't know. I never overdosed. I never overdosed. Never overdosed? Wow. Mm -hmm. You've been lucky, huh? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> you interviewed people eight times, ten times, fifteen times? What happened? I've interviewed people and they've told me they've OD'd 8, 10, 15 times. What? Yeah. Wow. Maybe you have like a high tolerance. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I do. <laughs> wow. Um, what advice would you give to uh, little kids out there? They think that booze are, are fun. They should try them. I would advise them not to try them because it's not worth it. Um, it's just a, a, an addicting substance, substance that you just be hooked on when you can enjoy your life. There's a lot more better things for them to do. I, I told totally him say not to even try in the first place, you know? So all your time, a lot of time and effort goes into it when you could be doing better things. Go to school, yeah. If you weren't battling addiction, what would you be doing with your life right now? Um... Maybe I'd be with, probably would be with my kids, or just, I don't know, doing the normal thing. I don't know, just at home, probably. Be at home, just working? Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting, yeah, I'd probably get a normal job or something. What do you miss the most of, like, a normal life? I, mean, I kind of miss being inside, I mean, you know? Yeah. yeah, my privacy and stuff is cool. It's 100 degrees today. I know. It's going to be 110 next week. Uh -huh. 115 in two weeks. How do you survive out here? How do you stay cool? Uh, freaking just get a lot of water and pour it on me like all the time. Make sure I drink a lot of water. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna get really hot though. Yeah, very hot. Uh, if I was to see you in 12 months, mm -hmm. what will you be doing in 12 months? In 12 months? I mean, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be doing better. And I hope I'm not in jail. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, that's. It'd be, better I mean it'd be cooler to do, be doing at least better than being outside and you know what I mean hungry and yeah what does better look like though like working and a treatment like, sober yeah like, I want to like the functioning addict thing at least like I don't know so, I mean I'm sure there will be hopefully there will come a time where I feel like I'm gonna I should be sober but I don't know yeah some people like being addicted. They they like being high. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and they want both a little bit of both worlds, right? They want to be high, but they want to be inside. They want a house. Yeah, they want that's kind food. Of how I am. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
So I'm gonna say thank you very much for talking to me. I really appreciate you sharing your story. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna give you my number. I'm gonna give you my card with my number on it, so you can call me if you ever need a right treatment or somebody to talk to. Okay. I'm gonna go grab you some lunch. Please All stay right. safe. God bless. We'll talk soon. Okay. All right. Thank you.